Can you put that link up again? Because I had to close all my windows. Okay. The, the link to the funny uh, debates. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to class. Uh, we're going to be having a speaking class in this hour. So if you have a reservation, you can go ahead and uh, join us. Uh, we have uh, Hamit and I found uh, some, well, Hamit <laughs> found it actually, but I was looking at it. We're going to talk about some of these questions that are found on this uh, website called debate.org, and we're going to uh, talk about some of them. Some of them are funny. We might also go for one of the more serious ones, uh, but those are a debate uh, type of a question is always a good thing to uh talk about because people have opinions so uh, part of you know speaking and expressing yourself is to have an opinion and then tell other people what your opinion is about something so that's uh, what, yeah can I show my surprise after the introduction part oh, oh yeah okay okay yeah okay so I guess I welcome back Tariq how are you doing <laughs> good to, to see you in uh, the class again and Valentina, how are you? Fine, I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm doing well. How's your weekend going? And this week I I was here. Yeah? Good? Yes. What, I had the what? flu, yes. Oh, you had the flu. You stayed home? Yes, I stayed at home. Oh. Unfortunately, yes. Yeah, unfortunately. Are you feeling better now? Uh, yes, yes, I'm feeling better now. Thank you. Good. Valentina, where are you? Where do you live? I live in Rome. I come from Italy. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, good. And let's see, uh, Ra, how are you, Ra? Rashid. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thanks. This is Rashid, right? <laughs> yeah, it's Rashid. It's a long time ago that I Okay, was, yeah. <laughs> and remember. <laughs> yeah. Welcome. Okay, guys, yeah, welcome. Yeah, and some other people might be joining us, so that's good. Um, go ahead and come on in. You should be able to see uh, the class on the on the main page at Verbling. So uh, in the last hour, we had some trouble starting. We had to start a little bit later because I had some trouble with my sound. Um, so we're going to, like I said, we're going to be uh, speaking more in the last class. We were playing a game which was more related to asking questions in the proper way, and people are doing a lot better I've done that class a lot of times. I think some other teachers might do that game or a similar game. But as you practice asking questions, you get the format uh, a lot uh, better. So the questions are asked in the proper way. So that's what we are working on in that game uh, in terms of English language. But kids, you know, kids always play that game here too. It's a fun game. Uh, it can get very difficult, like we found. <laughs> Even a uh, simple object can be difficult to to uh, under, uncover, we say, or discover. Okay, Taha, you're back too, so welcome. Okay, Hello. guys, um, I'm going to tell you, um, so for speaking classes, we have all different types of speaking classes, and we've uh, done lots of uh, classes on debates, like which means we pick a controversial topic, and then uh, everybody gives their opinion about it. That's one way to practice uh, speaking English. And um, it's what you do in real life anyway. When you have conversations, you talk about things and everybody says their opinion. You either agree or you disagree and you say why. Um, there's a website called debate.org and it that's the purpose of this website. So if you just go to the main page, you'll see they have debates going on like does God exist, yes or no, uh, your opinions about things and then polls. And some of them are, are just for fun, and some of them are kind of more serious issues that people really debate about, some of the top hot topics that uh, happen, at least in the United States, but pretty much throughout the country, or throughout the world, where people have different opinions about different topics. So uh, Hamid suggested we start with kind of the, the funny opinions, and <laughs> some of them we may or may not be able to, uh, to talk about here. Uh, but these are just for fun to get us uh, kind of started. Some of them are, are pretty silly. So I'm just going to uh, choose a couple of them. And then that will just and be the... Lisa, yeah. Can what? I show my surprise? Uh, sorry for interrupting. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Okay. Hamid, you had a surprise. I forgot. Okay. you. Okay. Hamid's going to share a surprise with us real quick. Okay. Hi, Alexander. So can you oh. see my screen? What is this? Yes. Can you see? Okay. Well... <laughs> 
thank you. You know what happened though, Hamid? I think they they messed up my my uh they, my well they messed up everybody's uh, when they made a uh, some kind of fix to the website a while back they messed up all of the the count so the actual count of the classes that we've taught is a lot higher I because you already I think you already did my two thousandth one for me or something didn't you I think uh, I don't know the, the real number, but uh, I uh, follow the uh, Weblings uh, statistical numbers. I so know. Actually, I know. Uh, this yeah, lesson right. is your uh, 1211. Uh, but I was late, but I wanted uh, to show my surprise. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, Hamid has a has a history of celebrating when we when the some of the teachers hit their. Uh, some milestones. We call those milestones, like you know, 500, 1,000, something like that. But I, I think I've already taught a lot more than that. So, yeah, I think I've. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's right, but it seems like I've done more. They, it seems like the 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 numbers got messed up. But uh, verbally, I don't know. I haven't paid attention to it. But thank you, Hamid. <laughs> it might can be 1,200. It might be more. <laughs> okay. Can I go? Yeah. Who is that? Uh, she is teacher Lisa. <laughs> What does she do? She is online English teacher. Uh, where does she work? She works on the Verblink. When did uh, she start? On 1st December 2012. Why are you a fan of her? I like her teaching style. How can we find her all time easily on Verblink? <laughs> yes, you can find me on Verblink. Thank you, Hamid. You are welcome. Awesome. Okay, guys. Um, all right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to get started here. I actually wanted you guys can look through this one uh, and see if you want to talk about one. But the first one I thought would be interesting to hear from is I don't know if people are familiar. I think most people are probably somewhat familiar with the Harry Potter series. Um, I read the first one to my son. We I, we listened to the second one on audiobook, and then I think I've seen a movie or two, but a lot of people have either read all the books or they uh, have seen the movies or something like that. <laughs> so here's a, this is just for fun to get us started. If Hogwarts sent your child an acceptance letter, would you allow them to attend? So for, to get us started, I want you to answer yes or no and then give a reason why you would want your child to go to Hogwarts or why you wouldn't want your child. So this is hypothetical. It's just for fun. And you get to, we'll just play with that for a little bit. So uh, Hamid, since you suggested this, and I know you're familiar with uh, Harry Potter series, what do you think? Would you send your child to Hogwarts? Firstly, I want to explain Hogwarts. Uh, what is that? Hogwarts okay. is a, a magic school. Mm -hmm. If you send your uh, child, he or uh, she can learn some magical things. Yes. And uh, I am a big fan of Harry Potter uh, because I watched all movies, I read all books, and I finished uh, four PC games for that. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a fan. Yes. And uh, for this purpose, uh, if my uh, child uh, were a friend with Harry Potter, It could be wonderful because Harry Potter is a one uh, very famous guy, and he is main character of this book. So yeah. my child uh, sh uh, could learn uh, some things in good way, and uh, <laughs> Harry yeah. Potter's uh, best friends are uh, Hermione and uh, Ronald for this mm -hmm. book. Mm -hmm. So I like their uh, friendship uh, status mm -hmm. because. They cannot leave each other in their hard uh, moments as well. So mm -hmm. it, show, it shows their uh, friendship uh, bond uh, strength. Yeah. So uh, and another uh, options can be uh, Hogwarts have uh, wonderful opportunities uh, and uh, there is good education system in there. Mm -hmm. So for these purposes, I would uh, like to send my uh, child uh, to Hogwarts Magic School. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. 
So yeah, it's a good idea just to, so if people are not familiar with Hogwarts, Hogwarts is the school in Harry Potter where they go, where Harry Potter goes. It's called the actual Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. So when you're reading the books, you understand what's happening. They're learning how to do magical things like magical potions and things like this. Um, maybe it looks something like this in your mind, but when you read books you get to understand and then of course if you see the movies they have their what it looks like in the movie but uh, there are four different uh, groups or houses that you get put into and some of them are maybe uh, known to be better than others and so it depends but lots of things happen there uh, some quite dangerous so that's the idea of uh, this this school so Hamid you would Yes, and as a last point, uh, I would like to send uh, my child to Gryffindor school because Harry Potter is that. Okay. Yes, <laughs> it is a lion. It is lion picture uh, school. Okay, the lion picture. Yeah. Okay. So Gryffindor. Yeah, Gryffindor. Four different uh, like dorm areas or groups where people are in their homes. Okay, good. So ha Hamid says yes to Hogwarts. Rashid, what about you? Would you send your child to Hogwarts? <laughs> Me? Yeah. No, Rashid. Rashid. Uh, me? <laughs> yeah. Um, Hogwarts. <clears throat> <laughs> why or why not? Um, wow, it's a long time that I, I, I speak English, so I have to... Um, <laughs> accommodate a little bit. Okay. Um, even kijken, Hogwarts. Um, no, I don't think I send my son to the Hogwarts school because uh, I don't, I don't, I don't send my son to something I don't believe in. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so I, no, I don't think that I uh, that that I would uh, send him. And uh, magic is for me. Um, no. Like you don't believe in I, magic? No, I don't believe in something, so I can also send my son to it. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Maybe a short, an maybe a short answer, but. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, we're just getting started, just for fun. So you can give short answers. We'll we'll have some other questions too, or you might give a longer answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so Taha, what about you? If your child got sent a letter to go to Hogwarts, would you let your child go to Hogwarts? Uh, I wouldn't let my uh, child to attend Hogwarts because he can be hurt when playing snitch. <laughs> or, yeah. <laughs> uh, he can be lost uh, his way when going to uh, lunch in maze. <laughs> maze. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe he fall in love with Harmony, <laughs> his father's ex love. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so you like and, Hermione, huh? <laughs> and so I uh, wouldn't let him to go Hogwarts. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> All right, yeah, you know Hogwarts. Um, if you guys are familiar with the series, a lot of uh, stuff happens at Hogwarts. So it is true that it's not just the fun and games. It can be serious, and some things, uh, crazy things, happen there. So it could be a dangerous place. All right. Tarek, what about you? Would you send your child to Hogwarts? Of course I will send. <laughs> Why? Uh, because I really like Hogwarts style and also the uh, spells. Like, uh, even the spell, spelling is great. I mean, the pronunciation of the spells is great. <laughs> okay. Like, Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yes, I will send, yes. <laughs> Okay, good. So you think your child would be a, a good wizard or yes. a witch? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> no problem then. Valentina, what about you? Would you send your child to Hogwarts? Mm. A boy or a girl? I wouldn't, I wouldn't send my child to, att to attend uh, Hogwarts school um, because I don't believe in magic, um, beaches. I believe in tangible, concrete things. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that magic is the reality. Okay. It's not the real world. Not the real world, yeah. Yes, for me, in my opinion. Uh huh. Good. Okay, Adrian, what about you? Would you send your child to Hogwarts? Uh, 
yes uh, i will uh, i will um, uh, send my my child uh, this uh, this call because uh, I, I think uh, uh, my my child uh, could learn a thing, uh, a mathing thing. I know, but uh, uh, yes, uh, certainly I I I I, I would uh, I would uh, uh, send my my child there. Okay. Good. All right. Alexander, what about you? Uh, so theoretically, if if it's real, I would uh, send him. Of course, uh, you know, I'd like to give uh, give my child to the school. I'd let him uh, to go there because you know uh, there are some uh, situations in our life when uh, without magic you won't do anything, and <laughs> you know, uh, I, um, actually I. Uh, I don't believe in magic as well, uh, but uh, <laughs> if uh, it is real, if uh, magic is uh, is happening, why not? Because uh, you know mm -hmm. uh, it will come in handy, and uh, maybe he will uh, teach me something <laughs> about magic, and you, you know if, if even. <laughs> Even I would uh, go with you. <laughs> you can go with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah. maybe I'll take advantage of that, of that knowledge that I, I would probably be taught. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, good. So uh, this is just for fun. So, you know, people who participate on this website, some are more serious than others. But uh, you can read. This is kind of a good place to come for some different kind of uh, reading. You know, a lot of times when you're reading, maybe you're reading books in English or articles, news articles, something like that. But sometimes it's a good idea just to read how, like, normal people write. And so the Internet is good for that because you have lots of people commenting on posts and things like this and um, you can't always uh, look to it for you know great grammar because people when they really write especially if they're not going to be corrected by a teacher or something they might make mistakes spell things wrong uh, not you know have good punctuation but you get to see how they express themselves so this is kind of interesting uh, to read 73 percent say yes 27 percent say no and you can read their reasons this one is kind of funny it says uh, this would depend if it is after Voldemort is killed by Harry, then yes. If before, heck no. <laughs> heck no means like, no way. You know, hell no. So I would not want to send my child to their uh, quite possible death. So some people are like, you know, if Voldemort's still alive, then forget it, you know. <laughs> but otherwise. And people have some funny answers. So maybe if you're a Harry Potter fan, you might get into it uh, more and really think of it as a as a real question, but otherwise it's just kind of for fun. But um, okay, so let's go to this next one, which is kind of related, and I want to know what you guys think. It's um, about school, but it's the question: Should kids go to school five days a week? Now, remember, everybody used to be a kid, and you had to go to school. Some kids even go to school six days a week. Um, but this is kind of a, a debate. Um, again, for kind of fun, here in the United States, kids do go to school Monday through Friday, and um, that's pretty traditional, pretty normal, but some people think it's too much. So some people say yes, of course, they need to be in school a lot to maximize their learning potential, but some people think, no, it's too much. They should be doing other things, getting other real-life experiences, maybe working jobs, you know, especially in the middle school or high school age. Uh, that type of thing. So, what do you guys think? If you could uh, change it, would you change it or would you leave it the same? And I want you to answer and give a reason why. So, Hamid, let's go back to you. Do you think kids should go to school five days a week? Is that a good amount of time? Or would you say more or less? With, a, uh, with an extra more day, yes. You want I mean, to uh, for, yes, I want to add one more day. Uh, I mean, uh, it can be uh, sometimes Saturday, sometimes uh, Sunday. It depends on sometimes situations. Uh, because in my idea, uh, the, 
I also uh, wanted to change uh, some education uh, points. Uh, like for what? example, yes, I mean, uh, I want, I would uh, add uh, add some points uh, to uh, exercise uh, for them. Not only uh, physical education lesson. I mean, there are uh, there could be something if uh, practice activities. I mean, for example, for one week. Uh, we can go to uh, museum uh, visiting mm, mm -hmm. uh, famous uh, museums of for example for my city or mm -hmm. uh, for another city uh, mm -hmm. for another week it can be uh, for example uh, some uh, university uh, universities laboratories it can be chemical it can be physical even uh, biological as well so I mean uh, for the school they can uh, take some theoretical lessons, but for mm -hmm. the weekend, I can provide them uh, something to practical activities. So I think it make uh, them uh, happier, more interested in uh, for these uh, activities. So ah. they can discover uh, their different sides. Also, for example, for one weekend, I can go to uh, some. Uh, everyday life organizations mm -hmm. like concerts, like picnic, like other facilities. Okay, yeah. So you want to have maybe extend the school week to six days to include more real life experiences, not just academic learning. Yes, uh, for five days it can be academic, academical learning, but uh, yeah. for the weekends, uh, every weekend uh, can be different organization like my uh, saying uh, things. So, for yeah. example, one week concert, one week uh, picnic, one uh, week university uh, trip, like that. Okay, got it. All right, Rashid, what's your opinion about this? Should kids go to school five days a week? Mm, I think that two or three days is uh, is enough. <laughs> because, okay. Uh, because I think the 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 new way of working. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also work at home, and you can also work uh, um, at your um, at your work or in a library or somewhere else. Yeah. So it 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 doesn't depends on one place, I think. Mm. And also for to um, for the kid to learn more academic and also to uh, to do things on his own, I think maybe yes, he, he shouldn't always have to go home and that kind of things and also you can um, yes I, I, so they also be prepared for the new way of working I think mm-hmm mm -hmm. yeah maybe, okay maybe I'm not clear on that point but no I understand um, let me s tell you what I heard and then you can tell me so you mm -hmm. think maybe two or three days a week is enough is sufficient especially because nowadays uh, people work in different ways like being able to work from home and so a child can learn uh, how that is even earlier on so instead of spending all their time in school they can kind of start learning that you can use the world more as a way yes. to yeah to yes. explore the world so yes. not just be stuck in a classroom in a school yes. but yeah and what okay. I uh, what I doesn't say is that uh, I think uh, a a child have to learn five days, but but not all five five days on school. That's what I mean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So um, so treat um, so a child have to learn five, and I think he can learn uh, two or one day at home with uh, with other kinds self studying or with his computer or that kind of things. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and good, yeah, interesting. Yeah, certainly nowadays more than perhaps in the past uh, we have lots of uh, real life experiences that children can mm -hmm. learn from and resources like the internet and libraries and books mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay, good. Taha, what about you? Should kids go to school five days a week? Yeah, yes, they should. Okay. Uh, uh, who think they shouldn't when uh, they, well, they were a child? Uh, I think they will change their decisions when they grow up and get jobs uh, because it's a very big problem for parents who mm -hmm. has child in home alone. Mm. Uh, they have to 
if they uh, don't go to school, they the parents uh, have to find uh, somewhere to uh, um, somewhere somewhere to send oh, their child. Sure. Yeah. If you, if you're working full time or something. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so, so go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry. Did you want to say more, Taha? Huh? Did you want to say more? No. It's oh, okay. <laughs> so for so for you, um, if you're a parent and you have some children and you work full time, then it, you need to have your child in school. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh huh. Yeah, that's yeah. that's true for a lot of people. Yeah, it it would be nice maybe for the kid not to be in school, but for what would they be doing? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if the parent <laughs> the parent has to be responsible for the child and they have to work. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's true. All right, Tarek, what about you? Do you think what do you think about kids in school? 5 days a week? Enough, too much, too little? No, it's too much and I think uh 3 days a week is enough and uh uh you know when you go to job, when you go to work mm -hmm. and your boss sets you a goal and you start to think about your weekly goal mm. and you work at your work and also in your house and in uh, at on the uh, back at home and also uh, when you are uh, in bed uh, day or night i mean you are not working only in your office you are mm -hmm. actually working everywhere and mm -hmm. school is like that school is similar uh, actually same uh, people are not learning things uh, at school always people are learning things uh, in bus in uh, from others from other people and uh, from the uh, local shops i mean uh, and that's because i think kids should socialize uh, more than going to school Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about uh, what Taha says? The where, what could they be doing? Like, if you have parents and they're working, where would they be going and socializing? Would it be like maybe a, a school, but you don't have to do school work while you're yes. there? Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. So, a place uh, where they could come and uh, relate to each other and get to know each other and. Yes, without uh -huh. rules and without limitations. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. And as Hamid said, uh, a one day for events or organizations. And mm -hmm. uh, that could be great, but not uh, extra for after five days. Ah, uh -huh. part of the week. Yeah, not yes. extra. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. Okay, good. Uh, Valentina, what about you? What's your opinion? Yes, yes, they should. Uh, they sh they should go to school five days a week. Uh, it will be interesting um, because they they can take part into other activities. Um, for example, um, they can go to the theaters, to the museums, or they can stay um, more time uh, with their parents. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm do you, do you think um, um, when they're in school five days a week, you're okay with five days a week, uh, do you think it should be all academic or should it be some of it uh, more social or practical, experiential, things like that? No, more social practical experience, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, they, yes. Okay. Yes, they can. Okay. They can see... They can see their, they can see their kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, they can, they can have um, more friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can have more free time. Do you remember when you were in school, did you think it was too much or enough? Or did you want more time with your friends or what? When you were younger in school, mm, yes, yes. Uh, when I was um, when I was younger, I um, I went to school uh, six days oh. a week in my country. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. 
mm, when I was a child mm. because it depends on the age it depends mm. on the level of school when mm. I was a, when I was a child yes until uh, until 10 until 10 years uh -huh. and uh, I don't and I didn't have uh, mm, I didn't have much free time mm. I didn't have much time for to go out with uh, mm -hmm. with other kids uh, to go to the cinema we had the only mm, mm -hmm. we could we could uh, go mm, to the cinema for example only on Saturday no sorry mm -hmm. only on um, Sunday Sunday yes. okay mm -hmm. yeah, only Sunday yes on Sunday yeah yeah do kids still go to school six days a week in Italy or five in Italy, kids mm, uh -huh. um, go to school yes, say six days a week until um, ten years old, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and after uh, there is the junior school, mm -hmm. and it depends. Okay, just yes. depends. Okay, yes, just depends on the school. Uh huh. But yeah. uh, high level school, for example, yeah, um, um, students, students, yeah. we can mm -hmm. yes, we can talk about students in this case. Yeah, they go to school uh, five days a week. Five days a week, okay. Yeah. Yes, on yes on Saturday they don't go okay. to school. Okay. Yes. All right, thank you. Adrian, what about for you? What do you think about uh, five days in school, less, more? What do you think? Yes, um, in, in fact, uh, in my country, mm -hmm. uh, the majority of school uh, are, are, uh, are working five days mm -hmm. a week. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think it is uh, it is good uh, uh, because the the the, the children um, have to learn uh, uh, social skills, um, mm -hmm. have to develop social skills. Um, I think uh, the the school is a uh, is a good way uh, to do. Do it. Um, depend of the, the the style of the the school or mm. the, the why. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, sure. Um, I think uh, uh, the school uh, have to have a, a academic uh, um, academic. Uh, uh, academic uh, uh, why or academic um, uh, it, uh, the school uh, have to have a um, social uh, social method to mm -hmm. uh, uh, for example uh, uh, do do activity related to the neighborhood or something like that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So not just the academics, but other things as well. I think, yeah, everybody seems to agree <laughs> that it's not yeah. just uh, about academics, but also <coughs> social life and friends, learning how to get along with people, having some yeah. fun. <laughs> Did you want to say anything else? No, nothing. Okay. okay. Alexander, what's your opinion about this? Um, so actually I just uh, want to give my example from my uh, okay. past. Sure. Um, I, I went to school uh, six, sometimes five uh, days a week and I think it was uh, great because um, when, you ch uh, when you're a child you, you know you tend to uh, to be, you know, like uh, you want to explore everything, you, you want to uh, try everything, 
and mm -hmm. uh, now we live in the world in the world uh, where uh, there are a lot of tempta uh, temptation and we can um, uh, we can go their own way and but when you uh, when you study uh, five or six a day a week, it's uh, it's great. And uh, actually, I don't want my child to be you know um, uneducated, silly, stupid. And that is why I I uh, um, um, how to say. I wanted. Uh, I wanna. I want that. I want him to uh, to go to school. Uh, to go to school uh, five or six days a week. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, I don't understand the people who who think who think yeah that's um, uh, five, uh, five day uh, five days a week uh, is uh, so much because mm -hmm. I don't know if uh, we. Uh, if we study less than five days a week, uh, I'd say that we will be um, less clever than we used to be, and you know, it's only for the worse. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know that they are. Well, what I heard some people say is not that you wouldn't be learning; you just wouldn't be learning in the classroom environment. So one thing is to be in a classroom, being taught by a teacher, maybe, and and learning that way. And then a different way might include learning, but more in real life. So in real life situations, maybe doing some things, working, having experiences. Uh, it it also uh, It also depends on the age of the kids because uh -huh. uh, I, I think that uh, until uh, about maybe 13 or 15 mm -hmm. they have to learn by the teacher and only that they can you know apply their knowledge you c they can use it they can try whatever they want but uh, they also have to uh, keep going to school mm -hmm. No, no. I uh, I would say that I would uh, press the yes. <laughs> <laughs> you would press the yes button. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, it's very interesting because just like we've seen in just in this class, people have different opinions and ideas about what would be good. And like you said, you started off saying that it's based on your own experience. So your own experience was uh, was good having that many days uh, per week and maybe some other people wanted something else you know in their uh, education so lots of people have different ideas and as you can see even on this website it's half and half so 50 percent saying yes 50 percent saying no and then giving their reasons why you know um, I would probably have to agree uh, with Taha that for the Americans at least one big problem is if your kid isn't in school and you have to work, where do you put the kid? You know, that is kind of like a, a problem <laughs> for, for a modern day people is uh, you have to have your kid being taken care of by somebody if you're not at home uh, because you have to work or something. So that is one reason why school does exist for five days a week right now and why it's uh, sometimes a very long day for some kids, especially younger kids. Where they get tired, you know. Okay. All right, good. It's definitely uh, something that is a big issue in most countries is the idea of education and how do we educate children, what do we want them to learn, what's important, uh, and uh, you know it's not just academics but it's other things as well. All right, I have another one that's completely, totally different <laughs> and I wonder if it's a, an issue in your countries or not because it is kind of an issue here and that is this idea of um, pit bulls. So there are these dogs called pit bulls, and in the United States, some um, pit bulls can become very aggressive. And so sometimes you hear on the news like a pit bull attacked a person, or you know they're dangerous, or something like that. So there's this debate, and here 96% are saying yes, and 4% are saying no. So at least on this website, a lot of people agree that it's okay to have a pit bull. But some people don't think it's okay because they think or they believe 
that they're dangerous, that uh, pit bulls are, are dangerous. So what do you guys think? Should people be allowed to keep pit bull dogs as pets? Should they be having them as pets or not? Uh, what do you think, Hamid? I don't know. In, in Turkey, do you have pit bulls? <laughs> yes, uh, some parts, yes. But okay. I want to start with a joke. Okay. Uh, if, if it is a singer, I uh, definitely want that. <laughs> Pitbull the singer. <laughs> okay. Well, that would be a, a whole different um, debate, too. Uh, do you think Pitbull should be allowed in... People should... Pitbull... Okay, what's his name? What's his... Uh, the singer. All right, so he puts it together. Pitbull. So this... <laughs> how much talking about this guy here? <laughs> Pitbull. So, yeah, funny how much... Because so, I like uh, his you allow uh, him. You yes. like him, okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Pitbull, yeah, yes. that's his uh, stage. We call that a stage name. It's not his real name, obviously, but uh, he's a singer, and uh, yeah. We're talking mm. about the dog, though, so uh, yeah. Hamid. Maybe, maybe if, uh, he got that name uh, from his appearance. I don't yeah. know. Uh, maybe, maybe that's his uh, image that he wants to give is like a tough guy. So Pitbull dogs are known to be very tough, you know, kind of aggressive, and that's kind of the uh, the reputation that they have. So, you know, if you pick a name called, like Pitbull, or I guess it's with one T, that's interesting, um, he, you know, maybe he wants to give off a tough kind of uh, persona in his music and his uh, videos, stuff like that. Could be. Yes, but uh, for other point, uh if uh, today's uh, technology, uh, yeah. we, if we can uh, produce some protection uh, for us and uh, for uh, pitbull dogs, yeah, uh, it can be good. I mean, uh, like uh, I forgot the English word uh, for uh, protection, uh, the animals uh, face or oh, muscle. like a muzzle, a muzzle. Yes, yeah. like a muzzle. Mm -hmm. It can be good. Okay. So um, I'm just curious, uh, in Turkey, where you live, do people have pit bull dogs? No, for my city, but uh, for Istanbul, I am. I believe that uh, some people ha uh, have this animal. Maybe Taha or uh, Tarek uh, are familiar with this, because mm -hmm. uh, Istanbul is a different city, and uh, there are many different people. Mm, okay. And sometimes uh, we heard uh, some tragic news as well. Oh, not okay. only for uh, pit bull dogs, but other uh, some secret animals. Other types of dogs, maybe, or other animals. Okay. Yes. So, so in so my what? idea, uh, simply if we produce uh, some protection things. Oh, okay. Uh, right. In today's uh, technology, I am uh, positive for this idea. So you're saying if you have one of the pit bulls and you take him out in public. As long as you put a muzzle on him, okay. It can be muzzle or other uh, technological uh, devices. Okay. Okay. All right. So yeah. All right. Uh, Rashid, what do you think? Are pit bull dogs are they too dangerous, or should people be allowed to have them as pets? I think so. <clears throat> I think that people should have them uh, should should uh, allow to have them as pets mm -hmm. because. Uh, <clears throat> I think it's very important how the boss raises his dog, he or she, mm. and, mm -hmm. uh, um, and I think the dog in himself is not evil or something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also not uh, it's also not proven that he is uh, that he's from his own evil. So I think, mm. I think uh, it depends how you uh, how you raise the dog. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you raise him very good, then uh, then I think there is no problem. Mm -hmm. and so there's nothing, we could say there's nothing inherently wrong or aggressive or too aggressive with a, a pit bull, it's just whether... I think, yes, people say a lot about it, but I think it's uh -huh. not scientifically proven that, uh, that the dog is, uh, is evil in himself. I, 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 okay, uh-huh. I think that people think, some people think that he is. Some but, people uh, think that, yeah. But, but, the, but there's no proof of it. Okay, yeah. Um, so you're saying it's more important how they're raised, if they're yes. raised to be aggressive, or sometimes if a dog is abused or something like that, you know, when they're a puppy, then they can become aggressive, you know, to fight, yeah. kind of like to fight. 
Yeah. Yes, I think the dog in himself. I I I think he 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 is mm -hmm. programmed a little bit to be aggressive, but but, okay. but but you as a boss can have to have to uh, direct it in a good in the, how you call it. <laughs> Yeah, you have to train. You have to you have train, train them and yes. direct them and yeah, teach mm -hmm. them how to control their yeah. So but ooh, I that's terrible. Ah, don't want to look at those. Okay. <laughs> so that's one of the problems. I don't want to show those pictures because they're kind of gross. Uh, people getting attacked, but that's that is one of the problems why some people say pit bulls should not be allowed to be as pets because they're they're too aggressive. They they attack people. They attack other dogs. That kind of idea. So that's the issue. But you're mm. saying it's a more a matter of training, okay? Yes. 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 Okay. Taka, what's your opinion? Uh, in my opinion, people shouldn't allow to keep pit bull dogs mm -hmm. because they are against the nature and they are really aggressive and they are mm -hmm. only hurting, attacking the other animals or peoples. Uh, mm -hmm. They are not friendly animals like cats or other do dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, as mentioned, uh, Hamid mentioned before, in Istanbul there is uh, some kind of uh, tragic uh, situations yeah. ab uh, about pit bulls. Uh, yeah. I think one or two years ago, a pit bull uh, hurted a baby from mm -hmm. his face, and yeah. it was so bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, they are uh, against the nature. They are not mm. friendly. Mm -hmm. They are very aggressive. So people shouldn't uh, allow to uh, uh, go peoples. Mm. Okay. Yes, um, one of the things that's hard to know when when you're debating something like this or giving your opinion is maybe like the facts or the statistics. So sometimes it's hard to get the statistics. I just saw this. There's a website, I guess, related to dogsbite.org, and their statistic here is that in the 10-year period from 2005 to 2014, two dog breeds accounted for 70% of the attacks that resulted in deaths. Pit bulls and Rottweilers. So that's why this is a debated topic, is because some people uh, use this information to say it's obvious these are too dangerous. You know, these types of dogs are too dangerous to be around people. Uh, but yeah, it's 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 not known. Is it because of the training? Is it because that dog is inherently like that, or do some dogs just go crazy and you you know they were never like that? I don't know. But that is a interesting statistic right there. Okay, uh, Tariq, what do you think about this? Should people be allowed to have pit bulls? Oh, no, I don't think uh, because uh, you know pit bulls are not uh, uh, home animals. They are wild and uh, they have masculine skeletons. Uh, oh. and, Skeletal system, uh, okay, yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, in Istanbul, it's not allowed to have pit bull or feed pit bull, oh. but uh, it's the police or government is not checking you. So people mm -hmm. are raising and uh, uh, having pit bulls, and mm -hmm. you can see some pit bulls when you are uh, walking down the street, and mm -hmm. uh, it's actually very dangerous because the people who have uh, pit bulls actually uh, not mm, good people. I mean, they are oh, street, okay. street people, and that's because it's very dangerous for other people. And, uh -huh. uh, no, I don't think the pe people shouldn't have uh, pit bulls. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's interesting that you mentioned that. It is true also here in the United States that some types of people uh, raise the pit bulls and they are using them kind of like protection and mm -hmm. attack dogs. Yeah, so that is true too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Valentino, what about in Italy? What do you think should happen? Should uh, they be allowed to have them? No, no. In my opinion, people shouldn't uh, be allowed to keep uh, mm -hmm. pit bull because this race of dog is uh, 
really dangerous. Mm -hmm. um, um, yes, these dogs are very aggressive, mm -hmm. unlike uh, other races of dogs. Mm -hmm. Other breeds. Yeah. And for example, yes, for example, in my country, yeah. there were many many cases um, of people of adults and children attacked by um, mm. pit bull dogs. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And I and I died. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's a real tragedy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Yeah. So I, I don't agree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it does seem like pit bulls were one of the breeds that were kind of raised to fight. You know, have dog fights and stuff like this. So maybe with the breeding over time that has happened, that they've become more aggressive. Okay. Uh, Adrian, what do you think about the pit bull issue? That increases the yeah. violence. Yeah, sure, definitely it does. It yes. makes them more aggressive because that's what they're, like Rashid was saying, if you train an animal to do something specific like attack a human or attack another dog, yeah, that's then they, that's what they learn how to do. So yes. they're, they're just doing what you train them to do. Adrian? Uh, yes, uh, it, it seems like... Uh, this dog is aggressive. Mm. Uh, um, from from the statistic, statistic, uh, statistic and other data. Um, mm -hmm. I think uh, at least uh, uh, at least uh, this kind of uh, dog uh, mm -hmm. will will should should be. Uh, should be controlled, uh, control it, um, or uh, should be restricted. Uh, uh, maybe uh, the, the owner uh, uh, should um, have a, a special uh, license, <laughs> uh, something like that. Uh, uh, special control. Uh, uh, I don't know uh, uh, if, if this dog uh, um, uh, uh, do a specific uh, task in the, in the, for example, uh, countryside. Mm. But, I don't know. but uh, um, I think uh, at least uh, uh, this dog uh, uh, should uh, should should be uh, more controlled. Mm. Okay. Mm. In so in um, in Uruguay, do you have pit bulls? Do people have pit bulls? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, here there are there are pit bulls. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, 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 that there, uh, there, there were accidents. Uh, yeah. Uh, with it, with it, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Alexander, what do you think about this? Personally, I don't like uh, this breed of dogs, and that's why mm -hmm. I, uh, I would not. Uh, I think uh, people should not be allowed to keep that breed. Mm -hmm. um, so um, actually, this uh, this kind of breed was uh, raised only for the fights, and not for, not to be you know uh, people's pet, a companion or something. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, and uh, uh, they also uh, they are also you know animals. They. They cannot think, they cannot f uh, feel emotion, and we never, we never know what we, uh, what, what going we to have do. to, what what we have to expect from them. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's it's kind of difficult to deal uh, uh, to deal with that kind of breed because they uh, they need to hound, hunt, hound, hunt, yeah, hunt, hunt. hunt. They need to, uh -huh. um, you know. Um, 
just a second. They need to prime something to, yeah, crunch. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, and With their teeth? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And Go that's on. why. Yeah. Uh, and that's why uh, I'm definitely uh, against of that. That dog, that breed, yeah. That breed, yeah. Yeah, well, as you guys are talking, I was just looking around. Um, and in fact, in the United States, apparently, I didn't actually know this, but um, every city, you know, obviously can enact uh, different laws related to dogs and pets and things like this. And so uh, when you look around, like in San Francisco, for example, that's a city you might be familiar with, they have mandatory sterilization of pit bulls, which means uh, you can't reproduce. So you, they're not... They're not telling you you have to get rid of your pit bull, but your pit bull cannot have any babies. You know, so when you sterilize an animal, that means you make it so that they cannot get uh, pregnant, or that the the male can't get a female pregnant. So, and then when I was looking uh, in my state where I live is Washington State, and there are some cities that do ban pit bulls. So if you live in these cities, you cannot have a pit bull. And then some of the pit bulls, maybe they just declared potentially dangerous or dangerous. And uh, this one bans pit bulls, Rottweilers, Mastiffs, and American Bulldogs. So four different breeds that are known to be pretty aggressive. Uh, yeah. So it's interesting. <laughs> Definitely, you don't want to uh, get you know get bit by one of these dogs. Serious, serious problem. Okay, guys. Well, interesting. Uh, it's fun to have different topics and different debates. And so thanks, uh, Hamid, for recommending we do this for this hour. Uh, if anybody ever has a, an idea for a class, like a, an article to read or a topic to discuss or something you want to practice yourself, just tell me and I'm happy to make a class for that because if you want to do it, probably somebody else does too. So <laughs> it's usually worthwhile. Thanks, guys. Have a good rest of your day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.